Hi there. Um, I am trying to get uh, a hold on this idea that kids can cheat using the source code in Google Forms. Um, trying to just figure this out. So I want to walk you through just really quickly what I see and why I don't think it's possible. Um, but if uh, you see something that I don't, will you please let me know? Because I really want to understand how they could be doing this, okay? Um, so right now I've created a test Google form with one question, how old am I? The answer is 43, and I have this all set up and ready to go. Now, if I look at the source code on this page, the teacher only view, which the kids cannot access because they are not collaborators on this Google form, um, I do see the answer. So let me open that up. Um, a really easy way for me to double check um, if they can see the answer is to identify places where the answer appears. So I'm going to put in quotes 43 because I only want the 43s that appear in quotes um, because that is a there's a coding reason for that. Um, it only appears three times in the text. So here's the first instance, and I see the question, how old am I? I see the number 23 next to it because that is the first possible answer, not that that's the right answer um, as shown in that video this morning. That was completely false and incorrect. Um, so the number next to it is wrong unless your first option is the correct answer. That's the only time it would be correct. So if kids used this choice to fill in their Google form, um, they would uh, they get the right answer one fourth of the time. Um, if there's five, or excuse me, four possibilities. Anyway, so I see this. There is no difference here between any of these numbers, how they're written. There's nothing here to indicate which one is correct. And looking down here, nope, nothing. Okay, so I'm going to go on to the next one. Here's where it shows the correct answer. So again, I'm in the source code for the teacher view where I created the Google form. So here it shows um, how old am I? the first possible response, second, third, fourth, and it shows that the third answer is the correct answer here. It's worth one point, and the right answer is 43. So if you get 43, excuse me, if you select 43, you get one point, um, and that's it. It just appears those three times in the source code. All right, so now I'm gonna go over to um, the student view. And if you're trying to do this yourself, what you're going to do is here um, grab the code for um, that you would send students for them to fill out the form. And I'm going to just click on a new tab here. And paste that. All right, this is what kiddos see, and it's um, it's going. The source code is going to be different from the teacher code. So I'm going to view the page source, and again, this is a mess. <laughs> I did go through and read as much as I could, um, but I find it's easiest just again. Let's look for where 43 appears, and it appears three times. The first time, um, okay, it's really embedded in here, but I want to point out it says um, JS Shadow Area Label 43, Area Disabled True, Data Value 43, Roll Radio. 
area checked false. Okay, that's what's around it. I want to point out that if I go up here to the answer 33, the nomenclature is exactly the same. Area label 33, disabled true, value 33, roll radio, checked false. There's no difference between how it's identified in this part of the text to give away what the correct or incorrect answer is. So these are the first two instances of 43, the right answer. So I'm going to go to the third. And this looks very similar to what was showing the correct answer on the teacher source code. Um, it again shows how old am I? The first option um, is always next to it. Again, not the correct option unless the first option is the correct option. 23, 33, 43, 53. And nothing in the way this is written is giving away what is the correct answer. And I'm going down here and this time it doesn't tell you what the correct answer is because again, this is the student facing code. I think this is this is my best guess, um, and I confirmed this with my husband, who is an IT tech at the um, First Homish School District. I think that the source code, the files are existing in levels. So you have the teacher source code, and then you have the student facing page. And that student facing page is calling to the teacher code for the correct answer. So kids can't see it. It exists on a different file. Um, I know that this is scary stuff. I know that the idea that kids could get in and see the right answer um, is nerve wracking, especially when we've done all this work. But I'm not seeing any indication in um, this test file or in a um, Google Forms quiz that I gave my students earlier in the year, I'm not seeing any indication that the correct answers are housed in the file that the kiddos see. Instead, it calls on a separate file that is only accessible by contributors, by teachers and people who have access to the results to that um, creation file creation Google form. I hope this makes sense. And again, if you um, see something that I don't see, please let me know because I really want to get to the bottom of this. This is, um, I mean, this is an important thing to know. And if Google has got this wrong, we need to call them out on it. Um, all right. Thanks, guys. Bye.